Hello everyone. Why was that the Silver Lake Bronco takeover? I noticed a gentleman had two JL subs mounted in the rear of his Bronco. I asked him where he got done. He told me about this place here in Grand Haven, Michigan. So I hit him up and we got it done as well. All right, so here's the new speaker system. They ran this cord down here. I don't really like this. The guy I saw before, they had his run up through there, I think. But for whatever reason, this zip tie is kind of unsightly in my opinion. Either use a longer zip tie or I would even use one at all. Anyway, so here's the JL speakers. Actually a pretty decent looking setup. Uh, of course, they did take the factory ones out. So I'm assuming that they're not able to use both for whatever reason. Uh, but yeah. This is their uh, custom way of mounting it. So I did have to take the drawer system out temporarily. You'll see it right here. It's fixing to go back in. All right, and as far as the amp to this thing, to these new speakers, uh, it's in this little area right here. Uh, I did ask him, is there any way I need to come back here and adjust this at all? He said no. It's like it's a pretty simple setup. You know, this was done by somebody else, not me. So if you see something wrong, it's not my fault. But anyway, I don't use this area for nothing else. I mean, if water did get in here, you can play it. But this is a marine grade uh, unit, so it should be okay. And I don't, you know, as you can see, my jack is not in there anymore. I keep it in the drawer thing. Do I get a more permanent solution, like an ARB or a high lift or something? Uh, but yeah, so I'm going to throw the drawer back in. And we're good to go. Now, unfortunately, I can't play copyrighted music on here for these. I get in trouble so just take my word for it it's it's better it's not like extraordinarily better but it's definitely better an improvement so just a consideration and notice that you don't have the obstructed view right here so hope you guys like and you know love sharing this stuff with you guys it's, it's not dark so sorry about the bad lighting so just bear with me i am going to play some music for you guys now this is some of the music i've played before in my other videos it's not uh, licensed music or copyrighted music. So uh, I don't know if it'll be able to give you a decent enough uh, example of of not, or of the difference between the stocks. I don't have, I didn't do this with the stock speakers, but it might, but I won't try it anyway. So just kind of listen and see if you can tell the difference. If not, you know, catch me at an event, you know, super sale next year, if you're going there, or if you live in the Chicago area, you can always catch me or maybe some other events. So. But be happy to show them to you guys. So anyway, here it goes. That's at six. definitely tell a huge difference I don't know if you guys can on the film or the film here but I can tell a huge difference so that was up at 16 on the volume level uh, obviously I've not had a chance to tune this but yeah anyway I I'd share with you guys and by the way go big orange Tennessee my home team so he be alabama as most of you all probably know so very happy weekend for me anyway catch you guys later please like and subscribe we got a lot more stuff to come we got a new bumper on the way uh got a body lift coming up here soon and engine cover from jcr no many of you guys have seen that so i got several things coming here in the near future so please like and subscribe hit that alert button that way you won't miss any of it and uh happy to share that stuff with you and keep you guys informed on what's going on so anyway Talk to you later. Bye-bye.